What's up guys, Delonte here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the top three mistakes that I see in amateur photography and hopes to help you elevate your photography game, even if it's just by a little bit. So on this channel, we'll be focusing on audio and video. So if that's something that you're into, make sure you hit the subscribe button. But with that being said, let's get straight into it. All right, so I'm gonna keep this video short and as simple as can be using the 2020 iPad Pro as a product of interest. But with that being said, let's get into mistake number one. When the average person picks up a camera and takes a photo of something, they usually don't put a lot of thought into it. The average person usually picks up a camera, takes a few steps back and just snaps the photo, which usually results in something like this. This is a typical shot of an iPad Pro. I literally picked up a camera, took one step back, and snapped the photo. Nothing really sexy about that, right? I mean, it's kind of plain. You don't really get the oh wow feeling or this guy actually took like a second or two to think about the scene, right? So what if we bring the camera to the same level as the iPad? Does this make a big difference? All I did literally is bring the camera to the same level as the iPad and angled it just a little bit. Now you tell me, did this very small two second adjustment make a world of difference in this photo? All right, so let's take a look at mistake number two. When the average person goes to take a photo of something, they usually don't think of adding dimension to the photo, right? So someone comes up to you and asks, hey, can you take a picture of me and my friend? The average person, grabs the camera, takes a few steps back, and snaps the photo. Well, if you look around for two seconds, is there a way to frame them in something? Can you shoot through an object or something like that? See, cause shooting through an object provides an out of focus foreground while keeping the subject sharp. So in other words, we're adding dimension or interest to the photo. Now there's plenty of ways to actually shoot through an object or add dimension. You can shoot through leaves. If there's a bench somewhere, you can shoot through the, the cutouts in the bench. Uh, if you're anywhere else, there's cups, uh, there's uh, glass, uh, there's fences. Uh, there's a, the, the simple headphone holder like I just used. Something as simple as that. But the main point of it is just to add dimension to your photo. So take a look at the before shot and take a look at the after shot. You tell me, did that simple two second adjustment make this photo look that much better? Lastly, let's look at mistake number three. So when the average person goes to take a photo of something using the same iPad photo from earlier, they don't usually think about the lighting. Now, lighting is a very important part of taking photos. If you go into a room that's too dark or a room that's too bright, you either have blurry, uh, dark, or very bright photos that you're just sitting here wondering what happened to my photo here. Now, photo editing can help, but you save yourself a significant amount of time just ensuring there's proper lighting in the area you wanna take the photo. Now, I'm not saying to go out and buy a $800 light or anything like that. Um, just simply ensuring there's light in the room or maybe stepping outside to take the photo or maybe just walking to a window to take the photo. Those very small two second thoughts will save your photo significantly. Just to be clear, I am not saying take five, 10 minutes to figure out how you wanna take a shot because you would probably ruin the moment. But what I am saying is if you just take a few seconds, just a few seconds, look around. Is there a way to make this photo better? Can you line your object within a frame? Can you shoot through an object? Can you raise the camera? Can you lower the camera? Can you angle the camera? Maybe even add uh, bits and pieces to the photo so that it's not the only object in the picture. These little subtle two second adjustments would raise your level of photography significantly. All right, so that's all I have for this particular video, but what do you guys think? Something I missed, something you wanna add? Leave a comment below. Like the video if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when the next video is posted. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.